So I've been kind of struggling lately. Um, if you guys know, I used to play like a lot of sports and everything, and I used to play basketball and football, and I used to work out a lot and everything. And lately, I've kind of been gaining a gut. You know, and I'm not, like, it's not anything huge, and I don't really have it anywhere else, but it's kind of been bothering me. So, watching Casey's videos a lot, and seeing him running, and just watching a bunch of videos from people that are very physically active has kind of got me motivated to kind of want to run and things again. It's just kind of something that I really have to put a lot of thought into, and kind of get a lot of things back on track for. <laughs> You know, and it doesn't help, it's been so long since I've really done anything physical. So it's kind of, I don't know, it just, I had to make some sort of plan to kind of change that up. But besides that, it can't just be about enabling myself more in physical activity and things. It has to be like a combined effort. So part of that goal is really a lot of changing my eating habits and changing my sleep schedule and things, you know? Um, so, it's going to be a tough process. And you know, it kind of comes from me, so, and it has to start with me. It can't be because I want to be, I want people to think differently of me. It kind of has to start with me at my, at my core, that I want to change things, you know? So, a lot of that is going to take me cutting back on a lot of foods and things and sweets and things that I choose to eat because I don't eat the best. I eat way too much and I eat way too many calories and I eat way too many of unhealthy foods. Like I've already kind of cut back on like my root beer drinking and things and I feel like that's what caused a lot of it. But there's a lot more things than just that that have to change before I'm going to get right with myself. Luckily, I can I can kind of see myself with everything, which you guys have heard me talk enough about. But I really, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at like a crossroads, you know, because there comes that point where you really want to get in good shape, but you have to decide, like, do you want pleasure or... But I feel like the pleasure that you get from getting back into good shape would be more than just eating the snack, you know? I was watching a video and they said, you know, it feels great when you're wasting time. You know, you, you do something that's a waste of time, obviously. And then while you're doing it, it feels like it's the right thing to do and like you're really enjoying it. But afterwards, you just, you feel like crap. So I feel like it's something that I have to commit to for the long term. And a lot of my issue is I don't see immediate results with things. And that's kind of one of my OCD type things where I like seeing the results of something, you know? That's why I love certain things like mowing the grass and plowing the driveway and stuff. Because you see like immediate result, obviously, of the grass being cut and of the snow being plowed. And I love just seeing the change in things. But this is something that I've got to kind of stick with and realize that I'm not going to see immediate results unless I do really stick with it. Um, and it's not just about losing my gut. It's about being more confident and successful as a human being. And I feel like a lot of my confidence was taken from me when I started, when I stopped being physically active and started to kinda gain my gut. So, the first step of this is, I was doing a bunch of research and things to see what I could do. So I, I already started doing like 50 push-ups and 50 dips in the morning to kinda help with everything. I need to get back into running because I we were running for consistently maybe for like two three weeks straight and then I kind of gave up because it started to get cold and I kind of used that as my excuse to quit um, but I need to get back to running I need to be doing those and I also need to be doing planks I looked up online it seems like planks are a very good way to kind of build up your core and to burn a lot of the fat around your core um, but like I said, on top of that, I have to change my eating habits. And it says a lot of things dealing with like salmon and tuna because the amino acids and the omega-3s and all that, that good stuff. So I'm kind of going to create like a meal plan for myself so I can take advantage of that. Because, you know, you can work as hard as you want, but if you don't eat the right things that are going to give you the nutrients that you truly need, uh, your exercise is kind of going to waste. But... Like I said, I used, I had a really bad, I used to really be on track with my sleeping schedule and everything. Um, like when we lived 
At Esther's, it was kind of bad. I'd wake up around like, like nine or 10. Um, and then when we moved with Brittany's parents, I'd wake up at eight in the morning so I could get my streaming done and everything. But I was also going to bed pretty dang early as well because I wasn't streaming very late um, because I didn't really have the internet to stream as much as I would like to. But then as we moved here, I was streaming my 12 hours a day, but then I got really lazy and I, not, I appreciated having my own bed again too much. And I've been sleeping in pretty late, like 10 or 11, which isn't late, it's just late for me. But that also is factored in dealing with, I, didn't, I don't go to bed until three or four. So I decided to change that up because at night I kind of just lay in bed and I watch videos and things, but if I wake up earlier, I can watch videos and get other things done in the process. So my goal is to start going to bed around 11 12 in between that time i think should be fine i can survive off six seven hours of sleep and then my goal is to start waking up around 7 7 30 going for a run and then coming back you know but it's something that has kind of been i've been kind of trying to avoid um discussing but it's really hurt a lot of the things i used to truly enjoy in life like um swimming and stuff i don't like swimming anymore because i don't like people seeing me like that you know it stinks going from being in really good shape to kind of you know being a little chunky around that area and it's not like I'm really chunky or like it's anything like that it's just I've gained a lot of weight there that I'd prefer to not have and everything kind of starts with the right mindset and this wasn't supposed to be all about me just discussing that it's just I need the right mindset. I need to be more productive. I need to quit wasting my time doing a lot of things that aren't as productive. If I'm learning or something from it, then that's great. But I can't be spending so much time wasting time on wasting energy, you know? Because I'm at the right age where I have the energy to do things and to really get things done. And I have the dreams and goals and ambitions and everything. I just haven't had the right mindset until now. Now, speaking on that, that's basically all I had to discuss. But dealing with free space as well. So I have some kind of new plans. And I'm going to be, since I've been doing my videography and photography, I wanna do that under the free space branding to help grow the brand. You know, I'm having a hard time finding creators and people that maybe think alike and think similarly to me um, and wanna be focused, you know, which I understand because it's not like there's money or anything in it for anybody at the moment, but I want to, my goal is to continue to build up free space, continue to sell apparel and things like that. And when I get to Atlanta, when I have the money, I would like to buy the whole floor of an office building uh, and turn that office building kind of like that floor into like a creating place. Because, you know, when you think of YouTubers, you think of Los Angeles a lot, you know, you think of New York, but you don't really think of Atlanta, even though it's a growing city. And I feel like there's just as many opportunities there if people brought the right type of business. You know, Tyler Perry opened up his uh, studio facility there. Um, the new football stadium. There's just so many opportunities. There's Porsche uh, manufacturing plants there. There's just so much to do in Atlanta. But when's the last time you heard of a famous content creator going to Atlanta willingly without having some other type of prior business uh something just they had to go there for you know people never go there by their free will and i feel like i could change that because there's got to be a lot of creative people you know you check instagram you check facebook you check google you check youtube there's a lot of creative people in youtube i just feel like a lot of people in atlanta i just feel like they don't have the proper tools or the proper surroundings you know the the right surroundings can really make you do some great things as it's, it's kind of the same case as when i was at home i'd kind of make boring videos but then i'd go and hang out with james and i make dope videos or i'd go hang out with justin and make something dope so i feel like a lot of your surroundings and the people around you have a lot of effect on that so what i'd like to do is kind of open up a studio there get a facility and everything, not a facility, but just a floor plan, separate it into like four or five different areas. So I'd like to have a gaming area, a YouTube area for content creators and things, a music area where there's instruments and people can collaborate and make music, a podcast area, and then a technology area. So then we'd have kind of everything dealing with YouTube, social media, Twitch, all of that combined, you know? 
there may be one bass guitar player that I find and one regular guitar player that I can find and one singer and one rapper and one drummer and one person that's good at production with like the drum pad and all that stuff. And on their own, they may not be able to get the reach that they want, you know, to get them off to the start that they need. But say I give them five other creators around them, you know, I combine a singer, a rapper, a drummer, a guitarist, a bass guitarist, um, a freaking a flute player, a freaking saxophone player, all in one place, they can create something great and give them the tools that they need, the recording, the microphones, the sound boards, all that crap, the computers, you know, or I take, I start inviting vloggers and things, and I get four or five vloggers there with me, you know, and we have four or five vloggers there that can all kind of mesh ideas and kind of create things together and decide to go on trips together, or freaking five or six people with ideas for apps, combine all those apps together, compromising, taking the best ideas from each person's plan, and they create something great. You know, or it, there's just so many things if you're in the right environment and we just have people constantly trying to push out content, push out songs, push out podcasts, you know, that can get everyone in that place. I have a lot of creative friends, but they don't have the motivation because they don't have the right environment. So I create that environment for people. I give them equi the equipment needed and there's nothing standing in between them and their dreams, goals and accomplishments. Um, and that's what I really want to do with Free Space. Free Space is supposed to be about kind of empowering the, the regular person that has creative ideas and good ideas and allowing them to create what they could create if they had the tools and the things around them to do so. So that's my new plan for Atlanta. That is my goal. My plan is still to move to Atlanta around August. That's when I get my big check and everything. So from then, now until then, I hope to pay off all the things I have to and then get to the point where the only things I have are my car payment, my insurance, you know, we can get our place. And so far it seems like Alex is definitely set on moving um, and then I'm hoping my friend Bun decides to come with us as well. Um, and we can get like a four bedroom place, we can all tighten down, strap down, and get focused on making content and building our brand and everything, and you know, go from there. If I have the space, I could get my sh some shirt printing stuff or find someone local. And we're also still working on free space apparel. We have new designs and everything, I'm just working on finding someone who can print them and get them all done for me. Um, that's about it, guys. But all this begins with working on myself because if I'm not in the best position possible and I'm not as healthy as I can be mentally, physically, and financially, then I can't guide other people. You know, I can't, I can't say, do as I say, not as I do. I have to lead by example. If I'm going to be leading a company and I'm hoping to start a company, I have to be healthy within myself to kind of take others and give my ideas to them and help them in the ways that I wish someone would have helped me. But it's a work in progress still. And it's something that I have every intention on completing. Um, it's just a matter of me working very hard now, creating videos, getting my content down, being consistent, um, and getting to that point. So hopefully my plan and my story can get everybody else motivated and get you guys working on what you need to work on. If you have any suggestions for us, you have any suggestions of what I could do for a future video, let me know because I am going to work towards uploading daily. I just need to be motivated enough and have enough ideas for videos and things to get that done. And I need to really step outside of my comfort zone and get comfortable with taking my cameras and video and creating videos and things in front of other people because that's one of the things I struggle with and it's one of the things that keeps me from blogging as much as I should but it's all work in progress and it all starts with working on myself it all starts with working on yourself that's the first part to accomplishing your dream or your goal so thank you guys very much I appreciate you have a wonderful day Be sure to leave a like rating share with your friends and uh, I'll probably see you guys Wednesday I don't think we're quite ready for daily uploads yet so, peace out homies